Hello and welcome to Top 5 Friday. I'm your host Tim Kant and this time I'm daring to ask the question, do you even compress? That's right, this time we're running down the top five compressor plugins. And if you don't really understand compressors, don't worry about it because I've got a mate with about 10 times the SoundCloud followers I have who still doesn't have any clue how they work. Do you, Jamie? Right, let's run down that top five. Sphere Comp is a real all-rounder at five. Weiss MM1 is doing all white at number four. Number three's Bus Glue series is nothing to sniff at. M Turbo Comp wishes past at number two. And Pro C2 lives up to its name at the top spot. At five, Sphere Comp by WA Production. A plug-in with both regular peak and SSL bus compressor style RMS compression, Sphere Comp gives you all the classic compressor settings. Threshold, ratio, attack and release times, these are handled slightly differently in each mode. Down at the bottom you'll find controls for stereo linking and unlinking, punch mode, saturation, clean compression style, sidechain stereo linking and unlinking, soft clipping and dry wet mix. Sphere Comp is an all-in-one solution that won't cost you much and it's a great place to start if you've not explored the world of third-party compressors before. A very simple but very useful feature when using compression creatively in Sphere Comp is the soft clipping mode, which rounds off the signal as it approaches 0 dB and makes sure that it doesn't exceed your full scale, so you're not gonna be clipping or anything like that. Well, apart from the clipping that the plugin is doing, of course. So, let's see how it works in action. So, got a bit of an easy drummer loop here, let's have a listen to that. Currently there's no gain reduction here, so we can see the sphere comp isn't doing anything, so we'll apply some compression by turning down the threshold. Oh, here it comes. The signal gets quieter, so we can boost it up a little bit. Getting a louder sound on average, of course. But hey guys, what if we want to go totally nuts? Well, let's activate soft clipping mode. And now, no matter how crazy, we boost the output, or indeed the input, that master ain't gonna clip. So let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Let's turn the threshold right down, ratio right up, bit more attack. Ooh. So yeah, it's a, obviously that's a pretty extreme example. Nice ring out from the drum kit there. That's a bit extreme example, but it shows you how you can Really take sounds to the extreme if you want to. So let's have a bit more of a play with it. That's cool. Let's put try the bus mode. So, ooh. so if you're familiar with Ableton Live's glue compressor, this is very similar. It's based on an SSL bus compressor. And rather than a continuous uh, settings for the attack and release and ratio, you're given certain, certain preset values that you can say. So let's have a play with this. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord, let's calm it down a little bit, shall we? I mean, this is obviously very, very full on, but if you want to kind of mix between the full on and the not so full on, then you've got the dry wet knob here. So let's dial in a little of the dry signal. There we go, I mean it's still really bonkers. But that should give you some idea of the power that Sphere Comp holds deep within its recesses. Up four, Weiss MM1 by Softube. Softube's take on their Weiss MM1 digital mastering hardware is fully endorsed, giving you the same whiter than white compression algorithms as the original hardware, right in your door. With its five compression types for different situations, transparent, loud, punch, wide and DS, there are very few applications that Weiss MM1 can't handle. And with a pedigree of Softube's analog modeling baked in, this is a shoe in for anyone who's after the quality of analog compression on their desktop or laptop. So Weiss MM1 is intended as a mastering maximizer, but it's also pretty handy if you wanna imbue your sounds with that characterful analog style compression. So let's have a listen to uh, an 808, of course, that we've got here. This is it dry. Very nice, but let's see what we can do with Weiss. So let's put it in transparent mode, unbypass it. See the gain reduction there. 
pretty nice and beefy. Let's try out some of the other modes. Very loud and lovely. Oh yeah. Let's have another listen to that because that is sick. Let's have some wide. Not really going to do much on my mono sample or whatever. And DS also not really suitable for an 808. But who cares? So let's go back to punch, which I really liked. Let's try it turning up the gain as well. And you'll notice this ain't going to clip the master because there's some kind of brick wall limiting or clipping a built in. Oh yeah. Oh God. Here we go. Okay. Beefy indeed. Let's try some other modes. Oh, oh Lord. That's too much even for me. Oh yeah. Oh Lordy. So if you like your sounds loud, ooh, and characterful, Weiss MM1 is definitely worthy of investigation. The three Bus Glue series by Joey Sturgis Tomes. This series of compressors gives you six plugins to add flavor to subgroups and buses. Each processor is an individual plugin designed for a particular purpose. There are compressors for keys, bass, guitars, drums, and vocals, and whole mixes. Each one has a completely different setup that's tailored towards the properties of processing that particular instrument category, helping you get the right settings for the right context. The result is that elusive glue that produces dream about coming in a slightly different flavor depending on the processor. You can grab the Bus Glue series as a whole bundle or just pay for individual plugins, depending on your budget and the type of music you intend to make. The Joey Sturgis Tones Bus Glue bundle is packed with uh, compressors. How many are there? You get six. I'm going to take a quick look at three of them right now. My dry sound is the Spitfire Audio Labs Electric Piano. Let's have a listen to it. It's free, so check it out. What a lovely sound. Let's compress it. First, we'll try the BG keys. Let's turn up the compression amount, see what happens. Oh yeah. Warming up those tines. Oh yeah. You've got a choice of saturation modes, warm, which you've got at the moment, and hot. Well, let's back that off a bit. Oh, it is hot. And also various modes. So there's no thresholds, ratios, attack times, release times, nothing like that. It's just real simple. Let's uh, have a crack with the vocal plugin. Let's give something a little bit more extreme. Ooh, getting all crunchy and crusty there. We can smooth it out with a different mode. Let's go more extreme. Oh lordy, let's turn down the output a bit. So it's really quite heavy compression possible there. And lastly, let's have a look at the BG Mix one, which is kind of general purpose. Got the clipping turned on here and the warmth as well. There you go, a wide variety of tones from these lovely compressors. At two, M Turbo Comp by Melder Production. In its simplest mode, M Turbo Comp is pretty easy to use. Set the input gain, the threshold and the ratio, then push the compression knob to adjust the level of compression while keeping the output volume the same. There's also a saturation dial and the usual features like sidechain filtering. But it's when you get under that hood that M Turbo Comp really starts to get technical. Here you have the choice to tweak four envelope followers with attack, release, type and delay, four processors, each with its own threshold, ratio, knee and range, a dynamic EQ and two saturation modes. If you can cope with that complex interface, this is truly a compressor for the experts. Now I like things technical guys. 
But M Turbo Comp from Melda Production is in a league of its freaking own. Before I play anything, let's take a look under that hood. Oh my goody goodness. As well as your general parameters, you've got four envelope followers, you've got four processors, you've got a lovely equalizer and two saturators. Too much to look at right now. Let's have a listen to some of those lovely, lovely presets though. Oh yeah. Pretty powerful. And of course, you can tweak all of these plugins. So you can do this from the main panel, keeping it simple. You can really shape the sound to an insane level. And if you go under the hood again, my lordy, you can see what they've done. Look at these tiny little tweaks here. And you can muck around and change it. Say so you don't want soft three. Say so you want folder one, my favorite folder. Oh Lord. Absolute chaos. If you are a dynamics processing nerd, then M Turbo Comp is the ride for you. And at number one, it's Pro C2 by FabFilter. FabFilter are the dons of creating easy to use, straightforward, but incredibly powerful and customizable processors. And Pro C2 takes on the subject of compression. You get all the familiar compressor controls, plus niceties like knee, range, look ahead and hold, plus a choice of eight compression styles such as opto, vocal, bus and pumping. The sidechain section is an entire pull down panel with graphical filtering, stereo options and auditioning. You also get your wet dry balance, auto gain control and you can set input and output levels manually as you wish. The icing on the cake is that excellent visualizer that lets you see exactly how the signal is reacting to your tweaks. There's a lot to talk about in Pro C2. It's a fantastic plugin and very fully featured, but I'm gonna show you something very specific now, which is using the look ahead feature when you're using the plugin in sidechain mode. So we've got a very simple scenario here. We've got a kick. Very straightforward and a sub. You might have trouble hearing that if you're listening on your phone or something, but there's a reason we're using a sub, which will become apparent pretty soon. So, after the serum that is creating our sub sound, we have an instance of Pro C2. So to use this in sidechain mode, we're gonna open the sidechain panel, select external sidechain source, and then we're gonna route the kick to the sub channel, and you'll see under here, in live, it automatically routes it to the stereo sidechain input of the Pro C2. Now, what happens if we play our sound back? There we go. The kick drum is routed to the sidechain input of the compressor, and it's now ducking the sub every time the kick plays. But if you listen, you'll hear there's a bit of high end at the start of each duct part. Now this is a minor thing, and if we create a duplicate of this kick, and we route it to the master so that we can hear the kick at the same time, you'll hear it may be sucking up some headroom, but it's not really, in terms of just purely what it sounds like, there's really not much of a difference. But what if you've got a situation where you wanna, you wanna duck something like a sub and the kick isn't playing, you don't want these little naughty bits popping up. So what you can do is you can turn the look ahead on and now listen as we turn the look ahead up as we play back the sounds. Smoothing it out rather nicely. So there you go, ultra smooth side chaining from my boys at FabFilter. Well, those compressors really were the bee's knees. Apologies for that. Please do come back next time when we'll be looking at more fancy plugins.